What's up everyone, Alan HD here, and we're getting back to the swing of things, starting off with Formation Mania 8, after like a week hiatus because of my birthday madness and all that hectic planning and celebrating and all that, but now that that's all over, we are moving back into FIFA videos, thank you guys for sticking with me through my little break, but in goal we do have Nick Rimondo, and he plays for Real Salt Lake, he is from the United States, and he's 71 overall rated, which is pretty decent for a silver keeper. But his stats on his card really aren't that great. There's not many. I don't think there's one that is above 80, and that's kind of sad for a goalkeeper. But he does get the job done. Our right back is Sean Franklin, plays for the LA Galaxy, also in the MLS, obviously. And he is a pretty decent right back. He's pacey and... He gets the job done. That's pretty much what this team is about, getting the job done. Our center back is Heath Pierce here. He's only 5'10", which is a little disappointing, but he does have 77 pace, and for a center back, that is pretty amazing. Um, our second center back, which is a far, far superior center back, is Ho Jose Manuel Catala Mazuneco, Catala for short, on the face of his card. He scores so many headers, it's insane. I would definitely recommend him. Our left back is Canela, 81 pace there for a left back, silver, pretty decent. Our first center mid right here is Nacho Cesar. He has a long, long name, but the face of his card says Nacho Cesar, so I'm going with that. 65 pace, but he has pretty decent passing stats on him. And same with this guy as well, 67 pace for Matia. But he does have 75 passing and a decent shot. That four-star weak foot is always great. Our center mid here is Coffey, and he plays for the, I think it's Whitecaps in the MLS, and he is pretty decent. I, he doesn't really get involved in the game, but when he does, he does make a pretty decent impact. Our right forward here in the right wing position, but it doesn't matter, is Dane Richards. He is Jamaican at 94 pace, which is pretty much all he's good for, to be honest. And our left forward here is Jesse Rodriguez, a far, far better forward. He has four-star skills, four-star weak foot, 5'10", 85 paces. Guy's a monster, probably the best player on this team. Our striker here is Darren Matox, and he has 92 pace, and he has a pretty sick shot too. Six foot, amazing jumping, amazing heading. The guy is a great, great player. I would definitely recommend him. And the price for this squad was 23,450 coins, which puts us 76,550 coins under budget, which is a very, very, very cheap squad. If you play Ultimate Team just weekly since it came out, you'd probably be able to afford this team. But just moving into this formation and this team a little bit with some nice goals, this formation is really, really similar to the 4-3-3. In the last episode, the only difference really is that um, the left and right forwards do stay closer to the striker, which makes passing a little bit easier sometimes, but over the top through balls a little more difficult. So it's kind of the trade off. I'd say if you like long passing, definitely go for the 4 3 3. And if you like short, quick passes and sending in little through balls on the ground, I'd say probably go with the 4, the four 3 2 1. And I mean, both have a striker, both have two wingers essentially. They're left and right forwards in this formation, but they're wingers in the 4 3 3. I prefer to just call them wingers, it makes everything a lot simpler. But we do have some pretty nice goals here from Jesse Rodriguez, and he is a monster, monster of a player. He is easily the best player in this squad. Now, definitely recommend him for any squad that you do make because. The guy is absolutely great. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, and has a pretty decent shot, to be honest. Probably one of the best shots other than Matox in this squad. But um, overall, this squad is probably my least favorite, to be honest. I mean, I do enjoy the squad and everything, but compared to the other squads that we had, and especially the last one we had, this squad really isn't that great, to be honest. I mean, it's cheap, but it's really not a bang for your buck. you got to be a pretty lucky to win games with this team, and you've seen a lot of my goals have involved hit the player's defense messing up or some other stuff like that. But the pros and cons, same as the 4-3-3 pretty much. Amazing counterattack, solid defense, powerful attack, easy to make hybrids with 
It's a little bit easier in the 4-3-3 than it is in this formation, but it's still relatively easy. There's wingers, obviously. This formation is not as expensive as the 4-3-3 I found, and it might just be me. It might just be the time I was buying the players, but I did not find it to be that expensive. The counterattack can leave you exposed. Three center mids as midfielders can make a lack of variety in the midfield, just like the 4-3-3. These formations are really, really similar. You should just definitely try them out and see which one fits best for you. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this episode. I am glad to be back in the swing of things. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment. As always, I will see you guys next time, and peace.